Bump and run. A warning for drivers. Police are searching for a group of suspects they say are intentionally rear-ending cars on the road and then carjacking them. WJZ is live at police headquarters. Rick Ritter with the string of crimes that have people on edge. Rick? Well, Denise, there's been five carjacking attempts in less than two weeks. Some have even turned violent. Now, police have one suspect in custody, but they believe more are still on the loose. Take a good look at this teenager, 17-year-old DeMonte Mayo, who police say is just one suspect behind a recent string of bizarre carjacking attempts. You know, something like this is very scary. It's very traumatic. Five incidents in just 10 days stretching across the northern part of the city. We was just carjacked at them when we called at a 2014 court went towards York Road and Holman Avenue. Investigators say Mayo and his group are intentionally rear-ending vehicles, usually at red lights, which forces drivers out of the car. But when the driver gets out, one of the suspects does too and jumps into the victim's car and takes off. The striking car pulls off as well leaving our victims in the street. In one incident, the suspect even pointed a gun at the driver. The latest carjacking attempt happened Monday night near Johns Hopkins University, putting students on high alert. Within hours, the university sent an email to those like Nadine Bandili. It sucks, but it's not surprising. Other drivers are now worried to hit the road. Very disturbing. Baltimore can be a really scary place sometimes. While detectives work around the clock to put the entire group behind bars. You said he's not working alone. How many more do you still believe are out there? At this time, we're not sure how many more. Um, but if they're watching us, I would advise them to turn themselves in. And police say they've received various descriptions of the car that the group is using, ranging from a dark van to a regular car. Now, Mayo is a juvenile, but will be charged as an adult. Reporting live tonight, Rick Ritter, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Rick. And police are urging drivers who feel uncomfortable when involved in a similar accident, call an officer to the scene immediately.